I'm here in Silver City, New Mexico, also known as the gateway to the Gila Wilderness. But what many people may not know is that they have a thriving art community here, and that's what we're gonna check out today. In this town, there are galleries galore, and the Silver City Gallery Association has helped create a roadmap for taking them all in on their Red Dot Tour. My first stop is the gallery and art supply shop owned by artist Diana Ingalls Leba. Diana spearheads a youth mural program here in town, so she's going to give me a personal tour and share some of the stories that are found on the walls of Silver City. Diana and other participating artists work with the kids of Silver City to paint the town. We work with the community. Everybody has a say in what is in that mural, you know, the people who want the mural, the artists, but primarily the kids. With over 45 murals around town, the city streets are galleries themselves. Many of the murals represent the multiculturalism and rich history of Silver City. From the members population to Chinese and Jewish immigrants, the history of Fort Baird to the legendary Billy the Kid, these murals give a visual introduction to all of them. And there's more than just paint on these walls. This one looks a little bit different. Yeah, it's all clay with a few car parts in it. Mosaics comprised of tile and found objects add a whole other layer to the work. One of the things that we've been doing is working to get every kid's hand in Grant County on the walls in Penny Park so they all have a hand in the park and ownership. Before you visit, download the mural map and brochure for a self-guided tour of more than 30 murals around town. Another stop on the Red Dot Tour is the home and gallery of Anne McMahon, a local landscape and nature photographer. So how did you get this shot? I was lucky enough to go out in the Gila wilderness with somebody who was like third generation here. They are now outfitters. The first day this hawk comes flying in and they tend to fly a grid pattern. They, they'll repeat in, in their uh, way of hunting. So the next day we're out there the next time and I was set up and I saw him. I just saw him out of the corner of my eye and I just fi started firing the camera. You got it center frame, which is so amazing. Wow, like this guy doesn't look real. That is what some of my colleagues would call a luminous print. In other words, it seems to create its own light. When you're looking for a landscape or you're looking for a specific picture like that, like the picture of the hawk, how do you know when you've got the right place? Well, in the case of wildlife, you really have to learn techniques that are very similar to hunting, to know where the animals are going to be frequenting and what they're going to be doing. Putting all of that together to make, hopefully, what is a great photograph. What is so special about this place? We are remote enough and large enough that development has not happened. To be able to, to drive your car down the end of a road and get out and walk along the Gila River seeing no one for miles and encountering no fence, oh. I mean, what kind of quality of life is that? Pretty super. After taking in a good dose of paintings and photography, I want to look into another medium. So I had to yada yada yarn. Yada yada yarn is a stop on the New Mexico Fiber Arch Trail. This trail brings travelers straight to the source, to places where you can meet the artists, see their creative processes firsthand, and buy their products directly. Discovering the arts of rural New Mexico. Hi, Are you, Susie. Oh, Susie, my name is Michael. Diana told me to come by. Good. And I see you guys are knitting. We are. Would you like to join the group? Yes. I, I'm loving Silver City already. I love the community around knitting. So you're talking about what's happening in the town. You're talking about the things that are happening in people's lives. You know, lots of people find it fun that, you know, women don't really get together and sit right. very often anymore. And if you look historically, it's something that they did. You know, whether they cooked together or did laundry together. So it's something, uh, yeah, you feel like you're a blast from the past. Like you're a t an, an older time where things were moving slower. I'm so grateful to be a part of it, you know, in my little time in Silver City and hopefully get some people to come out when they're in the area to come check out Yada Yada Yarn. Absolutely, they're more than welcome. We love to, like I say, we like to hear a new yarn. <laughs> I like that, I love that. <laughs> when you're ready to head to Silver City, here's some things to keep in mind. Travel through Hillsboro to get there. The twisting Black Range route is spectacular. Be sure to hit the old Wild West town of Pinos Altos just north of Silver City. 